Hi guys and welcome, uh, Bobby here. And if you don't already know, uh, today's tutorial I will be showing you how to install this so-called Dial Smiles on your Nintendo Wii. Uh, now what Dial Smiles is, it's an app which basically uh, enables you to play GameCube backups off of your USB flash drive, hard drive, even your SD card. Now not only am I going to show you how to install this so-called Dial Smiles, but I'm also going to go over the steps with you guys on how to install games for this style of smiles. And there's also a, there's a couple loaders guys, there's actually got three loaders that I know of that uses this style of smiles. Uh, that's uh, Configurative USB Loaders is one, uh, USB Loader GX is another one, and WeFlow is, is, a, is a third one uh, that, that I know of. Uh, now I have, I have went over this somewhat in another tutorial that I did going over with you on how to install the homebrew channel uh but guys i don't think it was done justice so uh i decided to make this tutorial here going on strictly over on how to install dial smiles and also the games so i'll be going over here i'll be uh i've already got dial smiles uh installed on mine so i'll be deleting that off my uh, sd card and going over step by step on how to do this so you guys don't miss anything and it should go pretty smooth guys it, it sh you shouldn't have any trouble whatsoever so uh well we'll go over to the computer now and we'll get started with this and uh if by the end of this tutorial here y'all do have run into problems well there's a comment section below just let me know all right so uh, let's go ahead and get started and uh i'll sh show you how it's done Alright guys, so to start off with, you're just really going to need two things, and uh, one of them is of course a GameCube game, right here, which because of time, I uh, went ahead and downloaded mine, and you're going to need, this here is called Dial Smiles Essentials, from this Mediafire site here, we're going to go ahead and download it, and we'll save it to the desktop. We'll go ahead and extract it. Open her up. Uh, this is this is what we got, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open my SD card up here. What you're pretty much gonna do uh, inside this apps folder, you're simply gonna drag and drop these two files in, into your apps folder or your SD card here. Let's see, I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so there they are there. Uh, take these three files. These are WAD files, guys. Uh, you're going to need these. Uh, and I'll explain these uh, when I get over to the Wii. But you really want to copy these. Go down to your WAD folder on your SD card right here. Make sure you have a WAD folder here. Open it up and just paste them right in there just like that. Alright? Just like that. <laughs> And that is absolutely it on the SD card, guys. Uh, this here, this is your, this is the app uh, that's actually going to help you to uh, convert the games onto your USB uh, flash drive, hard drive, or SD card. All right. So, uh, and in order to put games on your uh, USB flash drive or hard drive or whatever you want to uh, use. Uh, you have to create a folder. This is my hard drive here, guys. Uh, make sure on your flash drive or SD card or hard drive or whatever that you have a folder called games. All right, because that's what Dallas Balls is going to look for is this folder right here. It's got all my GameCube games in there. And this is what they'll look like after they're converted over. And it has the game ID folder here uh, with the ISO uh, inside of it. So just make sure you have that, all right? So now that we got that all squared away, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, extract my game. And uh, there's my ISO file there. And uh, what we're gonna do now, ah, shoot. Um, we'll go ahead and open our program up here, our uh, DOS Mouse Toolbox. Alright, 
So it's, it's really a very simple little program, guys. I mean, your, your top uh, line here is just pretty much, you just go and find your ISO. Your ISO will go here, and then your output directory is on the bottom. That's it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with this. Here's our ISO on the desktop. So we're going to find this ISO here. Just wait a second. There we go. All right, so we'll go to desktop here. Uh, there's our ISO there. You just double click on that, it'll show up there. And our output directory will be, that would be the black box here. And I'll scroll down to where it says games. Right there, just highlight it, hit OK. And then you just simply hit install. And as you can see, it's, it will be, it started installing. Uh, depending on the size of the game, of course, you know, it's going to take a little longer or whatever like that. But I'll skip this part over real quick, guys, and I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, so it's done. Uh, it says game installation complete. You can just close this, all this stuff out. And, guys, that is absolutely it. I mean, it's not that hard to get everything installed, uh, especially on your SD card, your hard drive or whatever. I will, now we'll hop over onto the Wii and uh, I'll show you the next steps. Alright guys, so on to the final steps of installation, uh, which is actually installing the DIOS BIOS onto uh, your Wii. And, uh, as you see, I do have the channel here, uh, but I am going to delete this channel. And, and remember, too, guys, with this dial spotless, you have to have a GameCube controller. Uh, you can't use the Wii Remote or anything. Uh, unlike this one, this is a Nintendo right here, and I will ha be having a tutorial out on this one. But the only thing I like about this, uh, about this app here, is that you can play actually play with different controllers. You can play with the PS3 controller. PS4, the Xbox, uh, there's a couple other co controllers you can use. It's, it's really cool. Uh, but this can be really frustrating setting this one up because you got to find certain INI files and stuff like that. And uh, it's, it can be really a pain in the butt. Uh, so, that's, yeah, that's a totally different tutorial there. But let's go ahead and delete this channel here. <clears throat> okay, see the stop there, no trace of dial spirals whatsoever. So the first thing you need to do, guys, uh, make sure you have a WAD manager. Uh, I use a WAD manager 1.7. Uh, if you do have it, you don't have a channel, of course, you know, you can go to the homebrew channel and boot it up that way. Right, I'm going to use my channel here. All right, WAD manager version 1.7, as you can see. We hit the A button. Uh, now with the stylus miles guys, uh, you want to use either 236 or 249. Uh, I prefer using 236 guys. I, uh, I've used it quite a bit and uh, had no problems using this at all. Uh, everything works perfectly. So uh, yeah, I recommend using uh, iOS 236 guys. Simply hit, hit A button to load the, the iOS up. Make sure here that you select the Wii SD slot. And now, as you can see too, it's brought up uh, your SD card with all your files on it. You just go down to wherever your files are located, which is right in the uh, WAD folder. Right there. Okay, so these last three files, guys, right here at the bottom, that's the one we downloaded. Let me explain a little bit about these files. This very top file, guys, is this dial files. 2.10 wad that is the wad file that's going to allow you to boot up your games 
off of your USB uh, flash drive, hard drive, or SD card, okay? All right, this is right here. What, if you have that installed, if you were to go back and play your GameCube disc, you have to go back and in install this CBIOS Wii Gator. That will allow you to play the disc. And that will overwrite the DOS BIOS 2.10. Now, if you were to go back to play it off the U USB flash drive, hard drive, or SD card, uh, then you have to come back and install the DOS BIOS 2.10. Simple as that. And uh, this middle one here, that simply just creates a channel for you. Uh, but, you know, I just go, I, I go with this one first. I just install it. And this is the word, like I said, this is the Styles Boss version 2.10 will allow you to play off your USB uh, hard drive. Alright, now we'll scroll down and uh, we'll create a channel. Okay, well, once all that's done, guys, just hit the button. <clears throat> all right yeah there it is right there guys there's a pretty little channel that we had uh created uh so what we're gonna do now we're gonna just go right into it Okay. Sometimes, guys, when you first like when I, when I first did this, when I first got my Wii and I installed this, uh, it looked like this right here. Uh, what it says there at the top, it says current device SD. Uh, I didn't know how to work this. I had to go on YouTube and find it out. But if it does look like this guy, it, if you have games on your SD card, then it's going to show up here. All right. In order. To get your games to show up on USB, right here, you simply hit the L button on your GameCube uh, controller, and that'll bring up all your games, just like that. Uh, you can hit your B button to go into options. Uh, I just leave everything really default. I have no problems whatsoever in leaving them this way. All my games boot up fine, so no need to even really get into this. So I just leave it all the same until you have a problem or whatever. You probably want to go there and check them out. But uh, yeah, let's let's load up a game real quick. Uh, let's see here, which one? This is the game. Uh, well, let's go. This is the game right here, guys, that I will start playing. I haven't really played that much of it. It's called Monster House. Uh, once you select, you highlight your game, just hit the A button. And there's our Dial Splouse logo. I just love that logo. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> but as you can see, guys, I am playing off the hard drive. Uh, so far, so good. Works really well. Yeah. It works just fine, guys. But yeah, uh, like I said, uh, beginning of this tutorial, if if you guys uh, have any issues whatsoever, uh, which I don't think you should. I mean, if you do it the way I showed you, you shouldn't have any problems at all. But if you do, there is a comment section below, and just let me know there. And I'll surely get back with you guys, okay? So, I guess I'm going to end this tutorial here, guys. I'm just going to check this game out a little bit. And, uh, and I'll see y'all next time, whatever, whatever I put out. So, y'all just be uh, looking out for me. And uh, check, check my next videos out. This is uh, Bobby signing off. Happy gaming, guys.